it going everyone this is jonathan coates and in today's free ai training i'm going to be just doing an overview and walking you through some of the sections of 11 labs this is a pretty awesome platform and i also have a universal strategy that business owners and content creators can use to implement it in their business and gain some type of success so i have that document right here with the help of ai assistance we're going to go through this together and i'm also going to be going over there getting started guy as well as a couple other things and their actual platform here. So they got text to speech, they got speech to speech, and there's so many different things that you can do. It's actually free to use for the first 10,000 credits. So you do have a quota and you can upgrade. Now the pricing is $0 forever. So you get 10 minutes of audio per month and then starter package, if you want 30 minutes of audio, it's $5 a month. And then two hours of audio is $11 a month. Now I believe this might be, okay, so it is monthly. And if you want to pay a little or less, you just have to pay a larger amount up front if you want to do annually. But you do get two months free. And then everything in the starter package right here, you get 100,000 credits per month, which is two hours of audio. So this includes everything that you see right here. You can pause the screen and then $99 a month, which is 500,000 credits a month, which seems to be the only one that includes a usage analytics dashboard. Now, if you actually create a new account and you basically, it's going to take you to this page right here. And once you have created your tone, so you can just type in whatever you want. Samurai activity over here. Let's go. And then this little drop down right here. This so Adam is legacy. And that, that does seem to be the legacy for a lot of platforms. It seems like those voice platforms. This right here at the top right called read aloud. It's legacy voices Adam as well. And I bet the, I bet you they sound the same. So there's a these are the free ones, I believe. And I think that you actually can upgrade. And I might be wrong about that. So this is the top picks and then they have the default voices right here. But so all you got to really do is just type in your text and then you basically generate the speech. If you go down to your area where your account is located, your profile and all that, they have docs and resources. So that's actually how you can get access to all of the stuff that I'm getting ready to show you. So when you go to documentation and you click on product, they'll show you everything they got. So voice cloning, speech to speech, dubbing. So you just upload it right here. and it says only the first minute of uploaded sample is used. And if you come across any content that raises concerns, please report it here. Now I also went over a video on how to detect AI in my learning prompting video. And there's a lot of different stuff that people are using. And on the other side of that, people are evolving every single day to bypass all of those detections. And then speech to speech, you do the same thing. You basically upload an audio or you can record an audio. And then you click on generate speech. It's pretty self-explanatory, you know? And then on the left-hand side, you can actually browse through the voices and choose, like I was saying earlier, one that matches best with your audience. So Audio Native is an embedded player that automatically parses the content of your blog post and voices it using text-to-speech. So if you have a lot of content on your website already that's mainly text, or if you want the ability to be able to have a voice recorder right by the blog. So instead of having to read, they can just click play. Then this is definitely useful. And then you have a dubbing over here and basically translate your content across 29 languages in seconds with voice translation, speech, speaker detection, and audio dubbing. So you can reach more people. So if you identify your target audience, the demographics, geographics, psychographics, well, now that you have different ways of translating that content, your content to that audience, you don't have to just worry about only focusing on one country or wherever that language is located at. So social media content, media and entertainment, marketing, education, and e-learning. These are all different ways. And basically you can upload the file here and then just click on create. You call it the name, et cetera, et cetera. And you can even put your YouTube URL, TikTok, X, Vimeo, and whatever URL you have. If it's other, other than these choices, you can put it in right here. Then select your target language. Then the source language, basically the, the, the language of the audio or whatever it is that you're providing them. And that's how you do that. And then is the, the projects tab is projects are advanced speech synthesis editor, ideal for long form content and full document conversions. So let's go to the getting started guide. Go ahead and get started at the very top here. This guide will help you get started with 11 labs. We'll cover everything starting with the creating an account and then moving on to cloning your first voice using the voice lab. Once you have set up your voices, we'll move on to speech synthesis. Here you'll be able to generate your first audio outputs using the pre-made voices or the ones you've created or cloned. And then we'll go over projects, we're also showing you earlier, which is our end-to-end -end solution for creation for creation voiceovers for long-form content such as longer articles or audiobooks with just a few clicks. We will cover dubbing, which is our automatic solution for creating dubs in any language that the AI supports. It keeps both the original voice and tries to retain the same performance across languages. 
We'll also touch on prompting techniques, how to influence the AI's performance, as well as its current limitations and challenges, and provide some troubleshooting and various tips and tricks. How does the AI model work? The AI model has been trained on a vast amount of audio and are suitable for a wide variety of tasks, ranging from more natural and conversational speech to more dramatic audiobook readings. We offer multiple different models. Each one has been trained differently and has its own strength. So voice IDs. So this actually reminds me of something. I know this is completely random. I was just thinking about this as I was reading. A lot of banks, at least the last two that I've been using, including, they had this voice ID check. So, you know, after you put your last four of your social in or whatever your, your PIN number in, just the like it's like a double layer of security. They'll, they'll say, hey, we see you're enrolled in our voice ID system after the tone repeat repeat this phrase and they'll tell you whatever the phrase is and you'll say it and i'm just thinking like you know someone else can just basically clone your voice but any at any rate i would hope they're countering that or offer a different solution it's important to note is the ai understands context this means that if you write something in the style of a book the ai will try to interpret how to perform a certain passage from the context of the writing itself to achieve a wider emotive range you can lower the stability slider although this may sacrifice some degree of predictability which each successive update to the model where it has been retrained, the AI gets better and better at understanding different contexts as this data set grows. This will help it understand more nuances between humans, languages, and accents. And to sign up, you can use the traditional method or of email plus a password, or you can use Google's official Google OAuth, official author authentication. If you choose to sign up with your email, you will be asked to verify your email address before you can start using the service. Once you have verified your email, you will be taken to the speech synthesis page where you can immediately start using the service. Simply type anything into the box and press generate to convert the, to convert the text into voiceover narration. Please note that custom voices and clone voices have different meanings. Custom voices are all voices that are not automatically included with the accounts, and this includes clone voices. Cloning is only available on the starter tier and above, which is basically the one after the free one. I actually think it's, let me see, let's take a look at that pricing again. I think it's, yeah, starter is actually the, the one after the free one, okay. And But the free plan offers three custom voices that you can create using our voice design tool or that you can add from the voice library. You can upgrade your subscription at any time and any unused quota from your last subscription will roll over to the new plan. However, please remember that unused quota does not roll over from month to month. Okay, so that clarifies what we were talking about earlier. It's an allocated amount for that month only. You can read more about that here. From the subscription page, you can also downgrade your subscription at any point in time if you like. When downgrading, it won't take effect until the current cycle ends, ensuring that you won't lose any of the monthly quota before your month is up. When generating content on our paid plans, you get commercial rights to use that content. If you're on a free plan, you can use the content non-commercially with attribution. If you use a clone voice, it's necessary to obtain the appropriate permissions to use them commercially, even on a paid plan. And you can, they got the terms of service, so I'll have all that stuff in the description. But at any rate, getting back to Eleven Labs and, and this universal strategy, Eleven Labs with this impressive text-to-speech capabilities offers a versatile tool set for businesses and content creators. Here's a universal strategy to leverage these features effectively. Number one, and I talk about this a lot, identify your target audience and their preferences. So understanding their demographics such as age, location, their interests and behaviors, and analyzing their consumption habits, what platforms they're using, what kind of content they prefer, as well as their language preference. This is gonna influence your choice of voices and accents. Then you wanna define your content goals. What do you wanna achieve with your content? Is it to inform, persuade, entertain, a combination? Set specific objectives. Now, I went over this a lot when it comes to SMART goals in my previous marketing video. I think it was actually YouTube analytics and it was like a combination of ChatGPT plus. Set, for example, increasing website traffic, boosting sales, building brand awareness, and number three, consider the tone and style of your content. A formal, informative piece might require a more authoritative voice, while a casual, entertaining piece could benefit from more of a conversational tone. And then match the voice to your target audience. So if you're targeting a specific demographic, which you should have at this point, choose a voice that resonates with them. And then number four, optimize your content for audio. An, a, a good example of this is actually finding people who are authorities in their niches and then studying their Facebook fan pages, like the comment section, et cetera. And then doing that as far as like everyone that's on that same status, that authority level, then just studying their their web, their fan pages. And then you'll be able to see which one has the most engagement, like the most activity. And that'll give you an idea on what voice tone resonates the best with that audience. 
which is a pretty creative idea. And you can use a similar tone like that and voice by using 11 labs. And then optimize your content for audio. Keep it concise and to the point. People are more likely to listen to audio content that is brief and focused. Use clear and simple language. Avoid jargon and technical terms that might confuse your audience. Add emotional depth. Use voice modulation, pauses, and emphasis to convey emotions and make your content more engaging. Number five, leverage 11 Labs features effectively. So experiment with different voices and accents. Find the ones that best suit your brand and content. Utilize the customization options. Adjust the pitch, speed, and tone to create a unique sound. And then explore emotional range. Use 11 Labs features to convey a variety of emotions in your content. Number six, distribute your content effectively. Choose the right platforms. Consider your target audience's preferred platforms and the type of content you've created. Optimize for audio consumption. Ensure your content is easy to listen to on, on various devices and promote your content. Use social media, email marketing, and other channels to reach your audience. Number seven, measure and analyze your results. Track key metrics, monitor engagement, conversions, and other relevant data. Identify what's working and what's not. Use analytics to refine your strategy continuously improve, make adjustments based on your findings to optimize your content and results. So let's get into some questions that needs to be answered, you know, to better approach this strategy. Number one, you know, identify what industry you're entering. If you're in affiliate marketing, then you just choose the, the category that your product is under target audience, who you're trying to reach goals. What do you have? What do you hope to achieve with 11 labs? You know, increase sales, customer engagement, brand enhanced brand image, Current content, what kind of content do you currently create? A blog post, videos, podcasts? And then content creation, what kind of content do you create? Audio books, explainer videos, character voices? What is the desired tone or style of your content? Formal, informal, humorous? And platforms, where do you plan to distribute your content? Social media, website, podcast? So here's some potential use cases to help get you thinking. In e-commerce, you can create product demos or custom customer testimonials using AI voices. Education, develop educational content such as audiobooks or explainer videos with engaging voices. And gaming, create immersive gaming experience with realistic character voices and podcasting, produce high quality podcasts with professional sounding narration. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy. I have all this in the description. I just want to give an overview and basically explain how it works and go over the Getting Started Guide as well as their AI detector here, their AI speech classifier. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like content like this, then I definitely recommend that you subscribe to the channel. I talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic, increasing sales, SEO, copywriting, email marketing, artificial intelligence, and automation. So if that sounds interesting to you, then I definitely recommend you subscribe. And if you feel like you've got value out of this video, feel free to donate. And be sure to take a look at the tools and the resources below. I have everything that I included in this video. And it'll also be in the pinned comment by the Affiliate Marketing Samurai. And also check out my AI checklist. It's completely free right in the description. All you got to do is you put your name and your email address in and I'll send it right to your inbox. You can basically have it with you and have it be uh, accompany you as you're going about your AI strategy. All right. So with that said, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next video. See you then.